the Excalibur reforged to strike down the Fisher King and destroy Arthur's twisted soul fragment embedded in his tortured flesh. He doesn't leave Castle Corbenic anymore, so that's where I will confront him. I have no intention to lay a siege to the fort, though. I'll leave such grandiose gestures to other knights. Lady Guinevere knows about a secret entrance that leads straight to the heart of the castle. This could be our best chance. Sick. It's interesting that she is not uh, required here, but that's fine. We'll take it. Cursed vassals, uh, relic loot, kill the Fisher King, and we need to take Mordred. So let's start with him. Uh, he's got the 11 damage one-handed weapon, three damage extra against unharmed units. Ignores half of block values. Uh, he's got the extra movement AP, which is nice, and then all the reflection damage. Plus three and plus five here. Plus he gets extra damage when he gets hit, so it's pretty nice. Armor potion and healing potion. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing you need to know about him. Otherwise, nothing too sexy. Uh, Balin, on the other hand, he's got the 14 damage mark of the Holy Flame. He's got the uh, Relic Sigil uh, for medium armor, the Armor's Sacred Sigil, the Grey Wolf Pendant, and the Vanguard Spyglass. Why mess with something that's definitely working? Sir Kay has the Swift Rune of Exhaustion, so we just recently got this. Uh, this is basically going to make sure that every attack applies vulnerability, which is nice. Yes, we have uh, Stigma here, but it's... why do that when I can just whack them and they'll be vulnerable? The other alternative to this is uh, this one where you gain AP for the first kill each turn, but he's usually maximum getting two kills. And uh, I don't know if that AP necessarily helps us that much. Uh, dodging the first incoming opportunity attack each turn. He's got the summon loss skill with the culling and uh, five damage while outnumbered and extra damage for power attack. So I think that's a pretty good setup for him. And lastly, Merlin. So he's got greed. Um, I can't fill this with a relic slot or with a relic thing, um, which is sucks big time. All I can do is replace the heal with this bone wall skill. I'm not about to do that. Uh, so we'll keep the heal. He's got the dodge of the first incoming attack each encounter and the staff of draining. So it's got culling and grants AP and does pretty good damage. And then extra armor breaking and damage for uh, force bolt there, which I think is beautiful. Let's do this. It's a level 11 mission. I got two 11s, two 10s. I'm not so concerned about this mission's levels. I'm concerned about all the missions after that. I hope that there's level 11 side missions. Sneaking around in the shadows like a cutthroat. But the secret entrance was a good idea. So, I'm guessing Guinevere then is always first pick should be mine in every uh, the Fisher playthrough. Will not expect us to strike from the heart of his castle. It would be cool if this place did have actually different entrances, and we have a bit of a buff because we got that uh, secret entrance. That'd be neat. I, I was drunk as a lord. But I swore I heard the king's quarreling with himself in two voices and all. Bloody hell! How did they get in? Kill them! We can't let them reach the throne room. Well, thanks for telling us. Alright. That's a lot of enemies. There's, uh, three arbalists. What do you want? Maybe I can kill one. Yeah. Teleport there. Go for this. <laughs> Damn! That's a lot of damage. That comes from his, uh, I'm guessing, surprise attack after the teleport, the Lord right? is my witness. This is a little further back than I would like. Let's do this. And then Mordred. I wonder if I could... 
hit the other arbalist from here. Ooh, very close. Oh! Oh, yeah, it gets it does the stun now. I forgot about that. Okay, that's sick. Ready Still, obviously, I'm happy about that. Um, now we want to come back over here. None can stand in my way. Mordred, come back. Look at the I armor. Oh, it's all. looking good. Yeah, they're all focusing him. You think I can't fight? No, no, I think you're capable. I think you're capable. I could mind fog the swordsman. Commander Hale has horde and mass HP. So if we take him out, it makes our other jobs a lot easier. Let's do uh, vulnerability here. Power and glory. Wait, am I not backstabbing that? How is that? Let's see if I could help. Not cool. Not cool. Okay. Well, we're gonna get messy here. to serve I can move here and Earthshaker across like this or maybe I do this oh that also applies vulnerability is that because Huh. Is that supposed to do that? I'm not sure. Time to feed the ravens. I can tank an opportunity attack here. I maybe I don't Lord. need to. Hold on. For my Camelot. Hmm. Power and glory. Okay, I'm gonna tank one here. It's fine. I sh yeah, I, I messed that up, you guys. I messed it up. I should have taken him out, and then this guy would be dead. Your Highness. Now I got a potential. Let's see if I could help. Backstab there. Uh. Hold on a second. How am I gonna do this right now? Could kill these two. Seems pretty reasonable. Let's bring in the Drake. Okay. None can stand in my way. This guy still lives. Let's take cover there. I am ready. He's going to engage me here, but I could teleport next turn. And I've got enough armor where I don't think I have to worry too much. Let's go uh, Mind Fog. Oh, it's a little short. Alright. Mind Fog the Swordsman. Reserve. Reserve. Okay, so he takes that dodge. Archer probably comes up and shoots. Oh, he doesn't even come up and shoot Merlin. Ready. I am ready. Now, if I move in here, I don't have an attack, so... 
that will have to do. Can teleport and take out the archer? Or I take out this guard. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I am going to take out the guard. Oh. I'm ready. You think I can't fight? I didn't say that. Uh, let's just get a little further away in case he gets charged. Blessings. Let's take out the Arbalist here. Positioning with these guys isn't as on point as usual. Let's sit back here for now. Just gonna back way up. All right. Oh, I didn't face him. That's okay. It's all fine and dandy. Give me your mind. Ready to fight. Let's go here. Do I need the power attack? This guy would have to attack here. This would cause some fire, but then... I'll take one attack, but again, it's fine. I have tons of armor here for the first attack, and then I can teleport next turn. So K is fine. If I go right in here, that opens me up to a bit more of a beating than I would like. He's poisoned for two. Let's just hide. Time to feed the ravens. And this is why Mordred is not a capable fighter. Let's be honest. He is pretty weak. Unless he's using his range Ready stuff. To fight. I serve the so we have the range guy handled. This guy has to attack here. Merlin gets hit by this guy. We can teleport next None turn. Stand in my way. Uh. <laughs> 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 okay. So I think this guy may have actually gotten an attack off. What do you want from me, Your Highness? Because uh, yeah, I didn't think about that, but that makes sense. Let's do this. Take them. Very nice. I'm gonna bring K. Well, let's see. Make up your mind. Order can kill there. What are we waiting for? That'll work. The ravens. I am ready. Then Merlin teleports. Kills off. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna go here. Backstab this one. This guy's slowed anyway. Make him disappear, Mr. K. All right, not bad. A uh, couple of probably questionable calls there in the middle, but it worked out. 
He's only down uh, seven. He gets all that armor back at each battle, right? 14 armor protects from the first attack. So he dodges the first one. Then the next one, he uh, takes addition or he takes uh, less because he's got a ton of armor. Hmm. You're telling me this is the only path. Protect the king. Oh, where do you think the king is? Oh, hi there. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Something over here. I've got uh, four archers. Do you need any wise words? Oh, we're close. They actually have a couple people lined up here, which is not super common. But there's a lot of armor to chew through, and I might be able to take out two archers with Ready him. To fight. Time to feed the ravens. If I move up once. Oh, I actually don't even need to. Sick. Blessings. Let's toss uh They're gonna come from all these angles. Let's just put this here and then hide. I'll throw a stigma on. I am ready. This will be more valuable next time. Let's overwatch. I'm not sure how effective that'll be. What's it gonna be? And then Merlin. All elite guards. Let's keep this guy busy for a second. And if we weaken him, that guy further brings him lower. I'm here to serve. You must be really desperate. No overwatches, unfortunately. What's it gonna be? Oh, I could have dragoned that. <laughs> and I talked about it. I actually could have dragoned this these five. Kinda blew that. I serve the Lord. I am here to serve. Sir K, I might just have to overwatch you. Is my witness. Snag that. I could come in here for an attack. Doesn't kill him. And then if I don't kill these guys, Balan's taking a bit of a, a beating. Let's do something like this. I'm gonna hide over here. He might reveal him. I'm gonna face this way. I don't think these guys are gonna run back at Balan. Awaiting your command. Let's put the illusion out there. Your Highness. I guess I'm going to wait for that. All right. Did I teleport? Um. Not yet. Some backstabbing there. You don't make up your. You don't mind. love seeing that. 
I feel like I could just ignore that guy. He's backed up pretty heavily. We'll come down here and take this one out. Time to feed the ravens. Ready to fight. I think I do have to cleave this. Actually, hold on. Let's see if I could help. Dragon almost kills them. So, okay. Let's cleave. I could be of some help. I suppose. Then we do the dragon here. Wait, what? That is, I think, the second time that the dragon has missed a tile. I am Unless ready. I targeted that weird, but I don't None think that I did. Stand in my way. Blessings. You think I can't fight? <laughs> So he's taking six. I have to attack. I am here to serve. Let's face this way. For my Camelot. Do the knockdown. Uh. Let's just set this on. take cover there and I'll take cover here if this guy wants to run over actually I'll just go here okay I am here these eye doits can't quite reach them time to feed the ravens We'll take this guy out here. Awaiting your command. Power attack. Regular attack. Power and glory. And then Merlini. Yeah, that that hide on teleport actually really stacks damage. When people in Discord were talking about um, whether that was good or not. It seems pretty good. In addition to the other benefits of you know being hidden. Yeah, this is sketch. Look right there. Oh, maybe not. Strange. Not sketch at all. An interesting little hall. Are there any resting spots? Two right next to each other. <laughs> okay. That's not suspicious. chest over there this is the house of the lord leave i'll check your chest first it's bunk kill me if you want but i won't open the gate for you open your eyes the fisher king is not what you think he is so this is the one that put the spell on the door liar oh damn the wounded king the keeper of the grail the last beacon of christianity in this forsaken land now this is rare. So obviously we want to go Old Faith or Tyrant. Um, we are, I think, equally close to unlocking heroes on either side. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to get like an Old Faith hero, I think. But we have much more progress on the Tyrant side, which would uh, unlock what I presume would be a higher, like a better quality hero. So I'm going to go Tyrant. I know something about magic as well. If I kill you, your spell will disappear. So you would kill me to open the gate? Yes. Yes, I would. I don't believe you. <laughs> and I'm not afraid of you, traitor. Uh-oh. <laughs> what, what, what did he think was going to happen? What did he think was going to happen? He wasn't thinking. He was like, oh, God will protect me. Surely. Who's Shirley? It's God's assistant. Arthur must be saved and oh, yeah. Avalon must Saint be Shirley. rebuilt. This is what I care about the most. Okay, what is going on back here? 
double campfire. What the? Oh, interesting. Some champions, perhaps? You shall not pass. Neat. Neat. Sir Andrewy, the mighty, and Sir Emery the bald. So he's inspired and does basic attacks. This guy can do guard, which gains lots of uh, armor. Uh, 75 physical and 50 mental. Zero physical, 50 mental. So both of them are going to be chilled if I use Mind Fog, which I think is still fine. Because that's going to slow their uh, progress towards me. And actually, I could flame them both. And uh, Mind Fog. Is that my best option? Yeah. I think what we'll do is um, do a bunch of hits here. Vulnerability, Thunderbolt. He is also stunned. Yeah, so he's not moving. Sword or sorcery. And then as this guy moves in, he'll die. Okay. What are we waiting for? That's nasty. Do you need any wise words? What? Let's just do this. This guy's not going to be able to do anything. Uh, wait, is he? 50% less AP and 33% less AP. I'm going to say probably not. <laughs> the Fisher King Some has fight. the power of the Grail and the twisted might of Arthur. This will be a tough battle, right. but I'll make sure he dies this time. So we're gonna do uh, one armor, then we're gonna do one heal. Rise and shine, knights. Then everyone should be pretty much maxed. There is no sleep for my kind. I imagine we're going to get a defense and a bless, probably. Protection, yeah. So let's put this on... Uh... The question is, do I, do I stack Mordred even more? Or do I give some to Sir Kay to kind of balance out our two tanks? Sir Kay. And if this is a bless, that would be sick. Swiftness. Okay. So that's cool. Let's give that to Balin. Yeah, nice. Alrighty. We're going in with everything we could ask for, except for the lost vitality we started the mission with. Oh, he looks like he might be swinging a big stick. I have a feeling he won't be alone. Mordred, my destiny. I am here to make me suffer again. Silence. He is not our destiny. We suffer because that makes us pure. Does his voice make you mad? Always whispering in your head. This is a weird audio thing that they do where they pan it to like one side because it's on the left side of the screen. But like, it only happens in those type of situations. Okay, kill the Fisher King. He's got a billion health. Holy crap. So, melee strike in an area of two to three tiles. Two by three. So he's got a, a, a melee ranged attack. Slap, knocks back and stuns. Power attack. Shadow Bolt wave. 
A wave of shadow deals damage in a cone-shaped area. And shadow lightning marks an area, and then you got to get out of it. Power and glory. Very interesting. Kneel before your king. Let's get rid of some of the uh, armor. What's it gonna be? Then I think we got a kite. Uh, fifty percent physical, seventy-five mental. So it seems like I could still chill him with a mind fog. And then next turn we could use an illusion. So this is kind of the equivalent of something like a slow. And then I want to get burning damage on him. Could sidestep and just use this regular damage. He is knocked back immune. 130 versus 120. Uh, yeah, this burn is better. Assuming he doesn't call extra stuff in. This could be some pretty decent damage for us. in and I'm gonna like split these guys what's with the freaking bongo music I love it I mean, that was, that's a pretty decent opener. Let's see if I could help. He's gonna have less AP here. There's the shadow lightning. All right, neat. Oh, and he faced this way. Very interesting Make up your strategy, mind. my friend. Okay. Does he have anything other BS I'm missing? Not really. I don't think I'll be able to hide here. That's fine. It'd be cool if I could knock him back in there, eh? I am here to serve. Should I summon this guy in? Do it. You think I can't fight? Okay. Let's get this on cooldown. Uh, let me just understand this. Stationary, can't use skills, one vitality, but enemies considered a target. When placed, the unit triggers overwatches, doesn't trigger traps. But I still want him to, like, move a bit to get to me. I'm going to kind of use it as a buffer here between uh, Balin and him. For my Camelot. Let's just reserve a bunch of AP. what he does. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to speed up his turn because I want to take it all in here. Oh, damn. Power, yeah, okay, so he's got the two range. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blessings. I can take for more. Vulnerability, Thunderbolt, into a backstab. Ok. 
Okay. Run away. Come in and be brave. Now, I could go in for... Actually, I can go in for a power attack backstab there. Or, sorry, even a death strike. So now, hold on a second. Each point of armor reduces the damage dealt by three points. I wonder which one's technically better here. They're both now kind of the same. This one's AP cost is lower. Let's uh, go here with our buddy. If we get lucky, maybe he targets that. I don't think he has any, like, cleave-type things. This has two... Oh, it's two by three. I don't know how that actually maths. Whatever. Damn, dude. What do you want? So this is six. I've got eleven. <laughs> Fortunate. I actually can't even target him. I want the backstab, so let's go. All right, so he's down to 139. Kneel before your king. I don't see him coming towards me here. Let's see who he attacks. Probably K. Oh, no! All right. He's going all in on the Zombo. Sick! Well, you may have just made your bed, bud. All backstabs from here on out. He dies this turn. Awaiting your command. I come here, I've got a backstab finishing strike. And uh he also has culling. Not enough. Make up your mind. You think I can't fight? Take it. Let's finish the monster. The grail is oh, over. neat. The king should be dead. Fool. <laughs> you have to use Excalibur. Oh, really, bro? That's annoying. <laughs> Ready to fight. <laughs> All right. I guess we have finish to wait. None can stand in my way. The Lord is my witness. Whoops. I think the wasteland is a disease. It's not. I like that actually. It's kind of cool. It just would have been nice to be able to plan for it. But. Bye bye. We handled him. Man handled. Oh, wait. Are we phase twoing right now? Oh, shit. Okay, that makes. That makes more sense. Oh, damn. He's got new stuff. So same strike, shadow bolt, drain life, cone-shaped area, pulls units closer, and he gets that back. Gains increased damage and action points for two turns, then becomes vulnerable for one. Vomit. Four tiles in front of the Fisher King, dealing damage and causing poison. 
and he has a teleport. Well, that sucks, let me tell you. I'm gonna put this on just to strip armor. Still out. Awaiting your command. This is pretty good. For Camelot. Okay, you're gonna have to tank no that. Mercy for the wicked. I could be of some help, I suppose. I can mind fog him, or I can mind fog there for the chill. He's actually going to take damage. I'm going to do this. He might take damage too, I don't know. Let's get him burning though. If I mind fog this guy and we move Balin, I think I gotta go for the backstabs when I can get him. Okay, that's not a backstab. <sighs> hate that dude. Hate it so much. Like, it's, it needs to be clear. Maybe I'm missing something, but... Now do I take a whack here from this guy? I'm gonna do it. Oh, that hits everyone. Okay. Then I can move two and I can hide. I'm gonna put Mordred up in this guy's face. Uh, Sir K, I'm gonna run. I can take them all. Just realized he could come and backstab him. I'd rather get backstabbed from that dude. Let's see if I could help. Actually, what I could do. Let's do this. Mind fog and the crossbowman. Ugh. I don't think I need to waste the illusion there. I'm gonna save the illusion for Fisher King distraction, I think. Let's just save AP. Time to feed the raven. Face this way just in case. Face this way. Ha, huh, he did take damage from his own thing. What an idiot! Who does that? I do it. Nice shot. He's coming. Look at that range, dude. How was that a two by three hit when we were one, two, three, four tiles apart? Oh, look at this. His summon is on a cooldown. Oh, melee two by six. Okay, that changed, I guess. Fair play. How does this work uh, with stuns on him? It just doesn't. So is the idea that you just can't stun bosses, I guess? I am ready. Certainly seems like it. This would take him down approximately 83. Both are the same. But this adds the vulnerability. Um, I'm here to serve. 
you can dodge this attack. Oh, I just screwed that up. Ah, I screwed that up. Oh. the Lord. I can come in here for one hit, but then I'm kind of exposed. I don't know if I want Balin exposed. So let's do this. We're going to move in. We'll keep our our uh, invis. We'll reserve. Why did he get Didn't we just kill the uh, archer with his fireball? I think so. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna put this guy here. He'll be closer than the other guys. And maybe if he whacks, you kill that thing too. He's doing it. Keep it up. Oh wow, okay. At least we saw it happening. I am hit till the last breath. Let's go here. Backstab Firebolt. Sinners shall bleed. Now, he has one more turn on Shadow Lightning, which is fine. Drain life. Teleport. Okay, I better go for it. I'm not gonna be able to kill him here, but Kneel before your king. Oh, I can hit him with this. Oh, he's already got 50%. Let's see, hold on. That's weird. Oh, now I think it's back. It's at 15. It like Ready. took over. God damn. Uh. Oh. Uh. I have to, right? Your Highness. I'm gonna try to encourage him. I think. Make up your mind. Ready to fight. Let's see if I could help. Let's uh heal there. What? Sword for sorcery. Okay, <clears throat> don't look at Balin. Oh god, he's looking at Balin. That wasn't too bad. Is suffering. Oh, that's not great. Now do I need to kill him with Mordred? I bet I do. Blessings. I got burning attack. Oh nice! Hey! Okay, so he was a two-rounder. But the wound he tore into this world might never That was fun. I really honestly thought that first phase was enough. Ooh. Accessories. And a tomb. I think that's XP. Blue one handed. Finally, some reward. Oath stones. Let's check 
the other side. Yeah, man, that was... Pfft. I can't really ask for more than that. Is it worth dying for? That was great. Let's see if we can investigate the throne. Nothing, eh? Alright. Good job. Good job, squad. Good job. Ooh! Here we go. champion so i am your champion now you have destroyed the second shard of arthur's torn soul it's a reason to celebrate not to mention that a christian king is dead i think their cinematics really are so know good that i'm not taking sides they just they give me that original witcher vibe me, do you would it convince you if I sent you against the demigods of the old faith? You are talking about the Shi, aren't you? I fought them in the Battle of Camlan. Not those ones, my vengeful knight. This is the land of pure magic. So the Sili and the Unsili made themselves very comfortable here. They have become extremely powerful. Am I sensing bitterness here? Let's say I don't have as much power over their deep wood as anywhere else <laughs> in Avalon. Can you open a gate for me? Or use your powers to take me there? No. You need a guide into that twilight realm. You must find the fairy knight who is neither human nor she. Let's say I enter the deep wood. Then what? Then you must cut and burn your way through that damned forest. Find Arthur's fragment. And destroy it. I like the audio sync is a bit weird there, but still cool. Nice. Level 12. Level 11. Level 11. Okay, what is this? Grants the magic armor skill... It's a uh, bishop's pendant, so it's not specific to anyone, and it does reflection damage, so this could actually be really good for Mordred, depending on which one it replaces. Frostbitten Rune of Gouging, 4 damage against Chilled, 4 damage against Frozen, 3 damage against Unarmored. So this would be great for, uh, what's her name there that I struggle with? Oh! Look at that. 58 health, 14 armor. 14% physical debuff. Now, this doesn't have the opportunity breaking. Um, but I think this could be a good one for, let's say, Mordred. This is for anyone. 5 damage for one turn after using a movement skill. So, Balin, perhaps? 3 damage against unarmored. Gain 3 damage for 2 turns for each kill. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what that replaces. Hero cannot be attacked for a turn. 16 to 29 staff. 5 damage for 2 turns for each kill. That's not bad, actually, because after the first kill, his current staff is, I think, 22. So that would take you up to 21. And extra damage against frozen units. Here's 21 to 29. Just better. I think. Plus 7 damage during the first encounter after a rest, which is whatever. Still good. Um, 5 damage for 2 turns for each kill. That could get out of control, too. He's usually... I mean, okay, maybe not. He's usually killing, like, an Arbalist and then doing other stuff. Um, I don't know. That's a tough one. So, Vitality and Burning Duration... Minus 3 from range, plus 5 for force bolt. That's nice. Uh, plus 3 maximum weapon damage. Recuperate for defenders. Potions and... 
Oh, Tomb of War. 25% damage for the next mission. Consumed on use. All right, not bad. So Riven has returned. Oh, Act 3, sick. Okay, this pilgrimage to witness a miracle is absolutely pointless. Huh. So he loses loyalty and gets XP. That sucks, because we don't really care about him anymore, do we? No, not really. New challenge reward. 20% additional bleeding damage to the selected hero. I mean... Um, that's our best bleed. I'm, I guess I should give it to Sir K, right? Our Black Knight doesn't even have it, but Sir K can use it on two things. Mordred does that for two turns. This bleeding is only one turn, and this is only one turn. Thing is, his weapon damage isn't nearly as high, so... Um, I think somebody like Sir K should take this. So he's got less damage from ranged and essence of hemorrhage. Okay. Vitality, vitality, vitality. Tristan leveled, and Ector leveled. So Ector now is level 10. Force Bolt, I want to take this. So fires three missiles instead of one. Oh wait, that was him I wanted to take it on. Merlin, yeah. So, I think this is good. I think this is good. I, I hope I don't screw this up royally. If I do, we could use the Tomb of Regret. Um... But the way I'm looking at this is it's fire damage over time on a bunch of units. I just wonder if I can put those all on one. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Now, do I want to buff this bad boy? Extra initial damage, extra tile range. Yes. Extra tile range. And hide is maxed. If the unit that kills an illusion is adjacent with it, they're chilled for two turns. So not a not a ranged kill, basically. Cooldown reduction. Chance for it to dodge, 50%. It's pretty good. Let's do that. 50% to dodge. Okay. Cool. Sir K. What do we want now? If we kill, every cooldown is reduced by one turn. Stunning blow. Let's take that. Stuns are nice. I think I might take this initiator, man. I've been talking about it quite a bit. Um... I think maybe that would be good value for us. No, you know what? Let's do this. Because Earthshaker is the one I want off cooldown. If I have a way of reducing that, then let's do it with Glory Kill. Uh, Mordred, my dude. What do I do now? HP for from Armor Sigils? It gets 10% extra. So, but look at that. That's like 5 for two skill points. I just feel like that's so weak. That's so weak. Uh, maybe Ruthlessness? So he regains HP on kills? Ten percent HP from Armor Sigils. But it's the same thing. Uh, plus the Vitality from Accessories and Trinkets. So maybe that's just the way to go. I just take Robust. There's two robusts that I can get to really tank him up. 
I don't have more ways to gain armor. Um, this could be important later, maybe? Hmm. Okay, let's do robust. Okay, Dindrain. Killing a new shoot reduces cooldowns. Yeah, I think that's nice. We'll take this. And then... Poison effects last an extra turn. That works. Now, Ector, do I want to do this? Because the problem is here, in my opinion, uh, we're not getting damage over time. So the effectiveness of having multiple targets, I think, is reduced. Yes, it could knock back a bunch, but I don't think that's super important. First Scorcher. So it deals more damage in its center. Which is like that one tile, I guess, in the 3x3. Three three. Death Hex is kind of a cool idea. Hex Intensity. So minus 50% damage for two turns. Ooh, slowing hex now affects every unit in an area of 3x3 three three tiles, but its hex intensity is reduced by 10%. So instead of slowing someone for, like, double AP cost, you're, you could, could slow more. I don't know if I like that either, man. Frick. I'm going to do this. So... X intensity. This sh the way I'm reading this, this should be like 80% damage reduction. Non-melee active skills increased by one tile. Does that count for here? For force bolt? 10% uh, more weapon damage. Uh, let's use death hex. I think this is this could be cool for big enemies. Four turn cooldown. Okay, Tristan's level 10 now. He's sitting on four points. Duration of poison is increased. I don't think it's that important. Reduce damage by 10. That's good. Reduce bear trap. And then people are slowed and lose armor. Okay. Last but not least, Yvain. He's probably never going to get action here, but we'll go with these two. Okay, that took a long time. My apologies. Here we go. Events. Matter of faith. Ooh. Um, hold on a sec. Let's look at this. So our morality chart is currently 11 and 6. So one more for Bedivere and two more Tyrant for the Red Knight. Interesting. Uh, making justice in the matters of faith is the most futile and ungrateful task for a king. This time I couldn't avoid it. My vassals almost ambushed me about the burial rituals used in Camelot. As a practical man, I don't think that this would be our most urgent dilemma right now. But it would be a mistake to dismiss my knights as some of them are still dreaming about eternal life and forgiving God, uh, and a forgiving God or gods. Ugh. Well, I mean, I gotta pick Old Faith here. I'm gonna lose a little bit of loyalty. Uh, Balin, that sucks. Dindrain, that could suck. Percival, not a big deal. Ector, maybe, and Tegir, not a big deal. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Yeah, so he's now one shy. And she's still within that border. Level 9, did you see that? Level 9 side mission. So there it is. That's probably Bedivere. Um, OK. 
Okay, so what else is coming up here? Buying cost the merchant's gonna be cheaper. Uh, Dagonet at eight and eight. So yeah, that's cool too. One more old faith and we would have that available. Let's see what the other event is. Oh, this is exciting. Oh shit. This is so rough. Just dropping loyalty here. The scouts have returned interesting news. A battered barge washed up in the Whispering Cove with a few survivors. They risked the otherworldly sea to escape the marauding Picts who raised several towns and villages in the northern region of Avalon. I don't know these people, and the last thing I need is potential trouble, but these sad refugees look useful at least. Most of them are skilled craftsmen with families, and they're clearly not in the position to be choosy about a new master. So we could spend 400 gold to get 400 resources, uh, spend 800 gold to get 400 resources, and rightful or just get some resources and piss everyone off. Yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> great, 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 great. Okay, so uh, one more Tyrant or one more Old Faith for Dagonet uh, or the other guy, so that's cool. We've got Into the Deepwood, level 11, and Monastery of the Sacred Heart, which I imagine is that guy, yeah, Bedivere. Sacred Heart surprised me with the most unexpected plea. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'll confirm, but I'm pretty sure if we take people that are uh, either one level over or maybe even two, we must enter the deep wood, the impenetrable forest of the sheep. Then uh, we get less XP from that. So this being level nine, I guess this is a decent opportunity for us to take out, like, of the Sacred Heart. Black Knight, me with the most uh, Percival's a Defender, plea. we could take out Tristan. The Excalibur. One of her allies, Sir Bedivere, remained trapped in the crypts below. And maybe I take the out Ector? Get him out of the training grounds here? They must have went back and forth a lot a from the of the on Heart. whether or Surprise not to be able to stop um, training. That's a pretty interesting mechanic. Um, this loadout might change if I find out, you know, even if they're one level over, they're going to get reduced XP. If that's the case, I'll take these guys probably. But um, what I will do is put these guys in. Look at that. Balin's gonna go up after one mission. Three missions here. How much to unlock the fourth slot? I would need a thousand. So I need... Can I do this with a decree? No, I can't. I cannot. I cannot. Uh, let's use this opportunity to get Merlin healed. Nobody else needs that. Training ground, let's keep her in there. That's fine. I have no injuries. Restocking in three missions. Oh, this is actually interesting. This... I think it's a good buy. Plus three damage against Seelie. Is that a new enemy type? A friar from the monarch. We must enter the yes, deep wood. Yes, it is. I think that's actually a pretty good buy here. Regaining armor for each kill. That stacks with this. So I'd regain four armor per kill, which is like ridiculous. I have more armor breaking. I don't have the martyr thing, but like, eh, whatever. Maybe I give them. Maybe I give the mark of the holy flame now to our defenders, and we use the uh, armor on kills for Balin or our, our whatever vanguard, right? That's a buy from me, Bob. Okay, marksmen or arcan arcanists. 
So first of all, let me remove all this gear. And people all that were on the last mission. Okay. So, uh, if I'm going to look at, let's say, Ector. Currently, his best option is the Sealed Premonition. The Rune of Balance. Wait. Okay, Merlin still has this. Okay, my bad. Let's go here, check that again. So, this is the downside, okay? So, we give up the culling for some higher percentage, or for some higher damage. Um, I actually don't think we do that. I think, I think the Rune of Draining with that culling makes it more valuable. Yeah. And then, with this new stuff, I still don't have... Um, an artifact for this slot for Merlin. Okay. Plus four damage for burning, but minus one duration. I'm not going to be buying any greens, let me tell you. I'll buy some armor potions here. I'm hesitating on selling those. I I don't I think if I don't need to sell them, I just won't. Okay, what's in here? One more mission, and we can get these swapped. I, do, I am tempted to get this. I am tempted to get that. It's marksman only, though. And we can also get that same thing. Oh, this is kind of cool. Teleport and loyalty? Ugh. We can get the same thing with that lost trinket that we have. The teleport ring is interesting, though. Plus five loyalty and teleport. Okay, so he's back at 16. For whatever reason. Okay, fine. Um... Like, plus five is a is a bar at this high end. For Percival. God. Feeling less damage. It sucks, but 10% is not a huge deal. When he's when his base weapon damage is so low. So like Hector could benefit from that, because he doesn't have a teleport. And he could use the loyalty buff. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. I'm going to buy it. Still have 727, and then I'm getting to the point where, like, I could probably sell the sign of uh, banishment. And these are all 900 anyway, right? So that's an option. Uh, the sigil of haunting we've never used. So I could probably get rid of that. And maybe even this one here, the bone wall skill. Just don't see how that's going to be valuable. So, anyway. Next mission is going to be this level 9. I'm going to double check the XP stuff. And we'll go from there. Thank you so much, guys. Bye for now.